Packet Tracer 6.2 was just released. Now, the last time I did a video on the new release of Packet Tracer, it was Packet Tracer 6.0. So, in this video, I'm going to highlight some of the new features of Packet Tracer 6.2 and Packet Tracer 6.1. So let's take a look at some of the new features that you can do, new things that are available in Packet Tracer 6.2. All right, to start with, I'll go over here and let's take a look at the wireless devices. If we look at the wireless devices, we already had the Linksys wireless router, but now we have the cell tower edition and the central office server that can connect to the cell tower. We'll just go in here and grab a coax cable link and run a coax connection to our cell tower and we've got our cell tower up. Now along with the cell tower capabilities if we go to end devices you can see that we now have the smart device which is a cell phone, smartphone and can connect, you can see it instantly connects to our wireless router in our cell tower Beyond that, there's a new device here, which is pretty cool, the sniffer tool. Now, if you wanted to take a look inside of packets before with uh, Packet Tracer 5.3 and 6.0, you needed to go to simulation mode and then click on the packets and open them up to take a look at them. But now with the sniffer tool, you can put the sniffer tool in line transparently and then go to the GUI and examine the packets as they travel the network. So that's pretty cool, the sniffer tool. Let's go over to routers. So we'll click on routers. And as you know, in Packet Tracer 6.0, we got the 1941 router. But if we look through here, you'll see there's a new router that's available, the 819 router. Now this router is pretty interesting. This is like a high-end router for a home or a really nice router for, let's say, a small office. And if we click on it, you'll see that it has wireless antennas. So this is basically a very nice small office, home office wireless router. So quite nice and with the wireless capabilities built in, so the 819 router. Also, if you take a look at, let's say, let's bring out a 2811 router. The 2811 router can also be a wireless router. Now, it doesn't look like a wireless router right now, but take a look at all the modules, all the cards that you can throw in it here, right? So you have all of these cards available to put in these slots. So this is a very modular type of router. And we'll see here, where are the wireless? There it is, the HWIC APAGNB. So there is the wireless um, module that you could put into one of these slots. And then you'd have your 2811 router as a wireless router. So that's pretty nice. Also talking about routers, the Packet Tracer 6.1 introduced the ASA firewall. We have an ASA 5505 firewall device. Now this is pretty neat because it uses, instead of the iOS, it uses the ASA operating system command line interface. And so if you want to play around and learn some commands with ASA, it's right here. So that's pretty nice. And it's still here included in Packet Tracer 6.2. Another thing that's pretty nice, if we take a switch here, let's grab a switch. I'll grab a 2960 series switch and throw it out here. And maybe another 2960 series switch. And I'll grab a PC and hook up PC and the server. There's been some real improvements in the server. And so that's why I'm bringing the server out here. And I'm going to throw some cables onto one of these switches just to show you a feature here. So we'll plug this in and then we'll plug the server in, let's say to port 10. So now we have the server plugged into the 2960 series switch and the PC. Let's take a look at the server and the switch. Now the 2960 series switch comes with iOS 12, but you can upgrade the switch as a good lab exercise to iOS 15, because if you look on the server and you go to services and take a look at the TFTP, we'll take a look down here and you can see 2960 LAN base 
15. So this is iOS 15 for a 2960 switch. And so you can use it, TFTP it over to your 2960 switch and then upgrade the switch to iOS 15. So that's a nice exercise and capability. Let's take a look some more at this server and the services. We've got the web server, which has been completely improved. The web server now supports HTML5. It supports JavaScript and CSS. So that's pretty neat. You've got the DHCP server, a DHCP version 6 server with capabilities for IPv6 greatly enhanced in Packet Tracer 6.0, 6.1, and now 6.2. This DHCP version 6 server is really nice. Um, we've got the Syslog server, the AAA authentication server for Radius, and um, that's pretty nice. And let's take a look. So back to this HTTP server, I said it could support JavaScript, CSS, basically some HTML5 type stuff. So I was fooling around with it and I created a file and I've got a little game that I was able to create. So let's take a quick peek at it. So I'm gonna open up my PC here, go to the desktop, open the web browser. Let's go to 192.168.1.2. 250 and we want to go to the file is asteroids.html all right I'll press go and you can see that the game shows up here if I hit play you can see there is the game and you can see that the JavaScript is running nicely in the browser window and the server is supporting the JavaScript as well as the CSS. So play again here, see if we can, oh, all right, pretty cool. So the JavaScript capability and the CSS capability supported in the web server and the ability to upload files into the web server is super nice. You can see here, if I go into my web server there, there's my JS file, which I can edit right? So anyway, all kinds of files in here, mostly just my HTML and my JavaScript. And I think I put my CSS right into my HTML. Okay, I'll minimize that. Now, if we want to talk about new protocols that are supported in Packet Tracer and our switches here, the switch can run Ether Channel. And the switch also has some um, DHCP snooping capabilities now from security. Um, the router supports hot standby routing protocol to create backup gateways. So you can do that on your 1941 router, and that's pretty cool. That's a nice new feature is the hot standby routing protocol. Um, once again, with these uh, new versions of Packet Tracer, IPv6 support is greatly enhanced. I highlighted that last time in the Packet Tracer 6.0 video, but once again, it's worth mentioning that there's a lot of support for configuring IPv6 simulated network environments. Now, another cool feature is if we move away from this logical workspace and go into the physical workspace, there's some pretty neat features in here. So I'm in the physical workspace environment, and what I can do is, is I can click on navigation and I can navigate to the different areas. I'll open up this window and you can see here, inner city, home city, main wiring closet, and then the rack. And then I can jump to any of these places by selecting it and then clicking jump to selected location. I can also just use this bar right here and I'll go right to the working closet here and it takes me into my rack and there are the devices that I've put into Packet Tracer and there they are on my rack. Now one of the nice new things about this is is that the wiring here and the support for actually changing your um, cabling right here on the rack. So in other words I can select this Ethernet cable and I can move it to a different port. Now it, it takes a little bit of um, it's a little bit sensitive right now on moving the Ethernet cables to the different ports but it, it works so you just basically have to play with it. There it goes. You can see I just moved these two cables to different switch ports on the switch. I could even take this one and let's see if we can drop it in. There we go. I moved it over here. So now if I go back to the logical 
topology, you can see that the cabling has moved indeed. So that's pretty neat, and that's the enhanced support in the physical environment. And this is nice because it gives students a little bit more of a, a working feel of what it would look like to have equipment like this in a networking closet in a real world environment and how things would be cabled up possibly in that type of environment. So as you can see, there's lots of new features and new capabilities in Packet Tracer 6.2, tons of new stuff to play with, and uh, I'm really excited that uh, get a chance to play with this all and get it working and, and create some interesting simulated environments.